Okay, I'm going to read um, a prose that I wrote, which is the closest thing to prayer that I have. It was written in April of 2016, so <clears throat> a little over a year ago. Convert self-pity to healing. The antidote is what causes this disease of the mind and body. You watch your emotions turn dark and dismal. You feel the all-too-familiar, uncontrollable confusion. You see only despair. Then you are reminded. You are healing. Although you are still you, a victim of your misfortune, the faith takes over and assures you that no pain is in vain. Not too long ago, you felt unwavering faith in yourself. However, your, quote, self, unquote, can only go so far. To broaden that to complete trust in the self is to relieve the pressure off of your individual woes. To realize suffering is only in the mind and not only your own is to accept the discomfort and redirect that intense energy into a warm wave of compassion for all of those who experience it. To heal your own emotional wounds is not through your efforts alone. Therefore, to heal others must also involve a collaborative effort of this conscious peace-giving. Perhaps the best place from which to transmit these unconditionally compassionate vibrations is a place that feels like the birthplace of the most extreme sensations of inner turmoil.